In my FPS UI interaction video, we connected two separate scripts using the global reference technique. That's where we use a global script autoload that contains variable references of scripts and objects. We create a global variable, we set that variable equal to our script or object, boom, we're done, it works. But what if you want to reduce dependency issues and make use of signals instead? Then we need what's called a message bus. A script that holds global signals and or functions that can connect to two unrelated scripts. A message bus can make it so two different scripts can communicate with one another, but don't actually know or care if the other exists. This reduces dependency and makes it easier to connect other scripts to the same signals. First, we create a new autoload script called the message bus and make sure global variable is enabled. This script will hold signals that we can access globally in any other script. For our FPS interaction system, we have a signal for when we look at an interactable object and when we look away. In our UI context component from the last video, we assigned a global reference to the script. With our message bus, we instead connect our global signals to their respective functions. In our case, we want to update our UI interaction text and icon when we look at an interactable object and reset it when we look away. So we connect those two signals to our update and reset functions. A quick note here as well, I've revamped the update functions into one update function to simplify the code. It's just one update function that updates both the text and icon of our UI interaction control nodes. Be sure to set the defaults for your parameters as well so you don't need to pass all three when emitting our new signals. In our interaction component, we currently access the UI context component via our global autoload. Now we can just reference our message bus and emit our focused and unfocused signals with the needed parameters. And that's it. We've now connected our interaction component to our interaction UI context component just using signals. As always, you can get these source files for everything that you saw in this video on my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep creating.